I also done uh, bidding unbalanced her hands. So uh, you should have uh, watched the lesson on uh, unbalanced hands first. Uh, so we're just going to go through um, some bidding. So North opens with a nice hand here. Uh, seven and seven is 14, a 17 count. Uh, clearly we can't open a no trump or anything like that. So we're going to open one heart. So that's our longest suit. So we open one heart. East isn't going to do anything. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So here we can easily bid two diamonds. Pass. And now North will now bid two spades. So we've shown five hearts and four spades. And also a strong hand because we've gone through the barrier of two hearts. So that is game forcing. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's unlikely the six five. All right, they could have six hearts and five spades. Um, but they could have, right? They could have. So what we can do is just bid two no trumps, and that shows a club stop and it's forcing. Um, so I'd be tempted to do that. The reason being, I wouldn't. I so bid three no trump. I mean, you could bid three no trumps. Now, there's interesting kind of bidding theory between bidding two no trumps and three no trumps. Three no trumps, in theory, should be weaker than bidding two no trumps. Because we're in a completely forcing to game situation here, um, three no trumps you could uh, describe as what's known as fast arrival, where we arrive fast to the, world, to, to the game. Okay, well, in other words, you get to three no trumps quickly. Um, there's no messing about. We don't want to look at, explore any avenues for slam or anything like that. Um, but if partner 6-5, they would now have to bid three, uh, four spades over three no trumps. So there is a case for just bidding two no trumps, and that allows partner. You know, if they do have a 6-5, if they have six hearts and five spades, they could now bid three spades. And if they bid three spades, that should show a 6-5 and a strong hand. And if they had a 6-5, we'd obviously now bid four spades um, with our hand to show three card spades support. So that's a possibility as well. So if they're over two no trumps, then North should then just bid three no trumps. Okay, so they've got a trust partner that we've got the club stopped. So it could go like that, the bidding, or it could... South could actually go to three no trumps because seven, eight, nine, they only have an 11 count. So it's not a, a really strong hand. So there's kind of two possible options, uh, straight to three no trumps or two no trumps and then three no trumps. Okay, so board two, nine, 10, 16, 19 counts. Very nice hand. Okay, so when you five, five, um, you open the higher rank suit. So we don't open a heart, we're going to open a spade. So many of you are opening one heart with this hand when you should actually open one spade. Pass from south, six, seven. Okay, you don't have spades. So we're just going to bid a no trump. Okay, we've got no choice. It's the dustbin bin. Uh, less than 10 points, but more than six, six to nine points, we bid a no trump. And now east with a very nice 19 count. We're going to jump straight to three hearts. <clears throat> okay, three hearts. Okay, and that should be game forcing. And partner with four card hearts, so it shouldn't be very difficult. Should just bid four hearts now. Okay, four, three. Uh, ten, fifteen count. Okay, so remember our cold and hot taps. We're either going to open a club or a heart. So here we're going to open one heart. All right. So a black suit singleton, we open a red suit. Okay. And the red suit must be hearts because remember our cold and hot taps. We're only opening clubs or hearts. So if it's a black suit singleton, we've got to open a red suit. So therefore it can only be hearts. Partner bids a spade. And what I would do here personally, I would bid one no trump to show 15 to 17 points. Uh, partner with an eight count. Well, that's interesting. I think with an eight count, you could bid two no trumps now. Uh, basically saying 
Do you fancy bidding three no trumps, partner? Okay. Um, and partner obviously with a 15 count would pass. So new board. Nine, 12. Okay, so we're going to bid a spade. Pass. Six, seven, 10. So 15 points, we can afford to bid two clubs. Uh, six, seven, 10, 12. Okay, so South might bid two diamonds, but what I would say, you're vulnerable and they're, they're doing all the bidding. Okay, this is where it's like dangerous to bid anything. Um, West could have some diamonds. We are vulnerable. We don't want to go for a big score. If partner's got absolutely nothing and no diamond support, Okay, so bidding two, oops, sorry, I'll pass quickly. So if we were to bid two diamonds here as an overcall, it's pretty risky. Okay, this hand could double us, um, if that means penalties, okay, which it probably should do uh, in this auction. Um, debatable. But if they, if we get doubled in two diamonds, however they, however the defense finds a double of two diamonds, then potentially we might we might only have three tricks here. If we go like five off vulnerable, it's a massive score. I mean, even if we go three off vulnerable, okay, which is a which is a distinct possibility, um, it could be very bad. So here I wouldn't introduce a two diamond bid because they've opened the bidding here and this two club bid shows us a, a ten count. So I wouldn't come into the auction with this. I'd want to have a better suit, a, a longer suit as well to come into the auction here. So. I wouldn't bid that. I would just simply pass. So that's first thing of all. Uh, nine, uh, 10, 12. Okay, one spade, two clubs. Hmm. I think if you bid three clubs here, it's a bit weak. I, I don't fancy bidding that. I, I think there's a big case here, right, to bid three spades with this hand. And the reason being is you've got a double fit. When partner bids two clubs, they should have a four-card club suit. So I would kind of upgrade my hand because we've got a double fit. And this spade suit is so good that it, it works on its own. So this is a, this is an actual bid here <clears throat> where I would upgrade this hand because I can play the spades on my own. If partner's got like the ace-queen of clubs and they've got to have more, okay, they've shown like a 10 count, then that's kind of all I need really. One spade in their hand, and I could make four spades if they've got ace, queen, of clubs, and that's just a six count. So I think I'm going to bid three, three spades, okay, rather than something like three clubs with this hand. So I'm going to bid three spades because we've got a good fit in clubs, and partner's also shown a ten count, so they should have some more than just just that. Okay, uh, six, ten, and partner's now minimum. They should just bid four spades. So I think that's how the bidding should go on that hand. Right, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen count, but six, five. So we should open our longer suit and bid a diamond. Six, seven, ten. Can't overcard anything. No five card suits. Okay, we've got a bid. So we're going to bid a spade. And North should bid two hearts. Now I know what some of you are going to say. But we don't have 16 points, partner, uh, John. <laughs> so we shouldn't bid this. We've only got a 13 count. But with our shortage and our length, okay, what I'd add on, I would add on about three more points for the, for the length, basically. Six, five, that's 11 cards. So I would add, add on another three points here, at least. And also this, this 10 of hearts is even pretty darn good as well, you know. The nine of diamonds is good. Uh, okay, it's probably not essential really in a six card suit. Um, but the ten of hearts is definitely a useful card as well, I'd say. If you look at how many losers we've got, we've got one loser in each black suit. We've got the ace of hearts to lose and the king of diamonds. That's four losers. So in other words, we've got nine winners just in our own hand. And partners responded. So I would treat this as like a strong hand. This hand passes. Okay. Now... Because they've um, gone through the barrier here, this is forcing for just one round. And we don't have a strong hand, but we have a club stop. So now I bid two no trumps to show we've got the club stop. Uh, pass. Now with this hand, now we can bid three hearts. Okay, so now we're bidding our second suit again. So we're now showing at least five, five. But this time, 
we're actually showing six five because we bid the minor first. So we are showing six five shape. And South can easily just now bid four hearts. All right. So that's where we should end up. Right, so five five in the in the majors, we open one spade, not a heart. Open a spade. Pass. Six seven count. Okay, flat hand. We're just gonna bid a no trump. Six to nine points. We can't support partner. Can't bid any suits. Can't bid at the two level. We just bid a no trump. Nine, ten, thirteen, twenty count. Massive hand. We're now gonna jump to three hearts. Okay, forcing. Okay, so that should be game forcing that bid. Now, as I started describing before, here with this very weak hand, but we do have support, what we can do is just jump straight to four spades. All right, we know we have a five three fit. I mean, that three hearts doesn't necessarily guarantee five hearts, but I'd say good chance that it does have five hearts. Um, so here, four spades should actually be a weak bid or a weaker bid. And bidding say three three spades so if we bid three spades that is still forcing because remember three hearts is forcing to game so if we bid three spades that's not going to end the auction partner's going to go on so if we bid three spades that could show or that could imply a stronger hand where we might still be interested in game if you have a look at this hand what do we need for a slam ace of hearts and the ace of diamonds that would be well enough for a slam so we can potentially have a slam on. So I would bid three spades if I had the ace of hearts and the ace of diamonds. And partner might now be interested in slam. Okay, if we bid three spades. And they could investigate and do other things, which we haven't covered yet, but we will cover slam bidding. Uh, but I just want to get over the fact that you can bid a certain way to des describe a stronger hand uh, when something is forcing and something is... Uh, you know, something is game forcing. So here, by, by, it's what's known as fast arrival. So after three hearts, we arrive at the game fast. In other words, fast arrival, you don't have that good a hand. But you forced us the game, I'm going to get there quickly and, and sort of say to partner, I'm no interest in slam. Yeah, this is what's known as quacks, queens and jacks. Queens and jacks, not very good cards for slam. So let's just bid four spades and play in that. Again, five hearts and five dimes, we open higher rank suits, we open a heart. Pass, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we've got enough points to go and bid two clubs at the two level, yeah. So do that. East can't come in and bid two spades there. Vulnerable, they're not strong enough, so don't entertain it. Don't think about bidding two spades. Um, South now bids two diamonds, so just bidding out the shape. Shows at least five hearts and four diamonds now. It, North was a weak can, but does have four diamonds, so now should just support the diamonds and bid three diamonds. So North, South should realize that North has about 10, 11 points with four clubs and four diamonds. and may have five clubs, okay? Because if you had four clubs and four diamonds, you'd have bid two clubs over that as well. Uh, remembering the rule of 14. Uh, 10 points plus four clubs, yeah, rule of 14. So what are we going to do with this? We've got an extra diamond and we've got some um, points, decent, decent values. You know, 10, 9, 8 is good in hearts as well. well. Plus we've got the king of clubs. Partner did bid two clubs, so that king of clubs really fits nicely with partner's bid. So here, what I think I would just do is I would continue on. So you, you can either bid four diamonds and sort of say, partner, do you fancy it? And North, with the aces, should go on because you really need aces when you're at the five level. You don't want soft values. You don't want to be losing like ace, ace, king. So here with these hard values of these aces, these bullets, now you can bid five diamonds. So it's recognizing what are good cards in your hand. Aces are good. Okay, so... Okay, so we've got a 4-4-4-1 four, 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 hand. So what do we do? With a red suit singleton, we open a black suit. So here we're going to open one club. Just remember the cold and hot taps. And here we just bid up. Um, so we're 4-4 four, four in the majors. We just bid a heart. 
Okay, so if partner can have a supporting hearts or they can bid a spade. So in here, they can't support hearts, but they can bid a spade. So now we've found our fit, haven't we? Six, 13 count. Now, a lot of you have got confused over this bid. This is, I think this is really quite simple, but you know, some of you got confused with this, what to bid next with this hand. You've got 13 points, partners open. So you have to bid game or you've got to make some kind of bid which forces partner to bid again. So here though, we're just going to go straight to game. We've got a 4-4 four, four fit in the spades and we've got game value. So we just bid the game. Simple as that, yep. Uh, some of you are trying to overcomplicate. Some of, you, some of you are bidding three spades with this hand. When If you bid three spades, partner could pass. Now, as it turns out, they've got like a 14 count, so they should probably go on. Um, but, you know, there's another case where on, on another day, partner might have less than that, and they'll just pass your three spade bid, and you'll miss an easy game. So you should bid four spades with this hand. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, but we've got, um, hold on, what have we got here? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't have an opening hand here. Have I got this wrong? <laughs> okay, I'm going to pass then. Pass. Seven, ten, twelve, fifteen. Okay, so I'm going to open a diamond. Pass. Actually, this hand could overcall a spade, I guess. Not the greatest. Um, well, we go on suit quality, it can't really. We've got a five card suit, suit quality six. So, really, we shouldn't be opening, especially when partners pass. So, we should just pass with the west hand. North can now bid two clubs. So, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus six. Okay, we've got a rule of 14. So, we can up bid, a, bid two clubs here. Um, seven, ten. Lots of points, 18. We can bid two hearts going through the barrier. Okay, so the barrier is one diamond. We bid two hearts or going through the barrier. Um, no, so that's forcing. We can just simply bid partner suit now and bid three diamonds, showing a three card diamond suit. Okay, the partner's shown five diamonds now. We're just supporting diamonds and we're just showing a minimum hand. Well, partner knows that anyway, because we were past hand originally, so we can't have mega values, but we're just showing like a 10, 11 count here. Three diamonds, four clubs, okay. Now, with the spades fully stopped, they should just now bid three no trumps, and that should end the auction. Okay, I'll carry on. I'll do all 12 hands. Why not? Eight, nine, 10, 11. Well, it's an easy one spade opener. One spade, pass, eight points. Okay, we don't have spade support, so we're just going to bid a no trump. No passes. Um, it looks like we're just going to bid uh, three spades with this. We got this hand right, yeah, three spades. Hold on a minute, could uh, West bid two clubs, eight and five? No, it can't be two clubs. Okay, so we've six card spade support, six spades, I mean, and we've got two. We've got an eight count. It's not a bad hand, so we're just going to bid four spades. Okay, so that wasn't really uh, difficult, was it? All right. Six, 11 count, so we're going to open a spade. Uh, pass. We're going to bid two clubs. Okay. Can't bid two hearts. If you bid two hearts, that should show a five-card heart suit. Here you can bid two of a minor to just show a four-card suit. So we're going to bid two clubs. We've got 10 plus points. We've got 11, as, as it turns out. This hand, we can't bid two hearts here. We've just not got enough. Seven, eight, nine, ten. They're both bidding. When it's gone one spade, two clubs, you don't want to be bidding two hearts with this. Your heart suit's not very good anyway. Suit quality, seven. Okay, five cards, two honours. Suit quality, seven. Don't bid two hearts with this. This is where you can get smacked, okay? Be in big trouble. Okay, one spade, two clubs. So here we can bid two diamonds. Now we're showing five, four at least. And north here could just, um, well, could bid two no trumps. Yep. Yeah, um, two hearts, you, you can kind of bid naturally. It kind of depends on what you're playing here. 
some play this as ball suit for us, which we won't discuss for another year or so at least. But um, so we could just bid two no trumps here, show, sort of showing 10, 11 points and a hard stop. South with a six card spade suit um, can bid three spades. Six showing six four now. And North with two card spades support and two aces, I think should go now to four spades. Okay. Okay, let's just bid this last hand. Um, 14, 16, 17. Nice hand. Let's open a heart. Count. Oh, yeah, we can over. Can we overcall here? Well, suit quality is six. Okay, so I probably wouldn't overcall with that. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, what I would do here is a little bit like opening. So if you were opening the bidding here, you'd open a diamond rather than a club. Okay, you open a higher rank suit. So you open a diamond and then bid two clubs. So it's the same thing. Here we're going to bid two diamonds and hope to bid three clubs later, maybe. We've got enough points to bid at the two level. Pass. Um, we've got loads of points here. We're going to bid two spades. So we're going to go through the barrier. East can now just carry on bidding out the shape and just bid three clubs. Okay, it's showing something got in, they've got somebody in clubs. Um also, by bidding this, it also shows that you've got five diamonds by bidding two diamonds and then three clubs as well. Whereas if you sort of bid clubs first, you could potentially just have like four clubs or something, I guess. Right, so now we're going to bid three hearts. And sure, we've got a six-card heart suit, and then East can just bid four hearts. And that should end the auction. So that's 12 boards on unbalanced hands. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you found it useful.